Over the past week, there have been a number of reports suggesting two internationally acclaimed Iranian film directors have been detained by authorities for criticizing the government over a violent crackdown on protesters. Well, my colleague David Morricond has been following the story and joins me now in the studio. Uh, David, tell us more about the directors in question. Who are they and uh, what are they accused of? Well, the two directors are Mohammad Razulov and Mustafa Al Ahmad. Uh, both were arrested for posting statements on social media calling out government sanctioned violence in response to recent protests in the city of Abadan. And by condemning the use of violence against, uh, against people, cr these creatives and activists have been detained. And uh, this includes so Mohammad Razulov, who won the Golden Bear in Berlin in uh, 2020 for the film There Is No Evil. And he was arrested for inciting uh, unrest. And a few days later, another celebrated Iranian uh, director, Jafar Bahani, uh, came to, uh, to inquire to the prosecutor's office about the whereabouts of directors Mohammad Razulov and Mustafa Al Ahmad and was himself detained. Uh, Jafar Panahi uh, won the, also won the, uh, the Golden Bear uh, in Berlin in 2015. And this isn't the first time that both Mr. Panahi and Mr. Razulov have had run-ins with uh, the Iranian government. They were both um, condemned and uh, they were told they weren't allowed to keep filming in the country. And in fact, Mr. Razulov uh, had to smuggle uh, uh, his film, uh, There Is No Evil, by a USB stick to the Berlin Film Festival, and it was his daughter who picked up his golden bear in 2020. Well, given the relatively high profile of both of these men, what's been the international reaction? Well, more than 300 figures uh, of the country's film industry have signed a statement calling for their release, and there's, of course, been uh, several official statements released by the Berlin Film Festival, Cannes, Venice and Locarno, each of them calling for their immediate release. Uh, uh, the Berlin Film Festival uh, released a statement saying that they are outraged uh, to hear about the arrest and festival directors uh, Mariette Riesenbeek and Carlo Chatrian both stated that this is another violation of freedom of expression and freedom in the arts. Uh, now I recently spoke to Kavi Farnam, the Iranian producer and longtime collaborator of uh, Mr. Razulov, and I asked him uh, beyond these statements from film festivals what the international film community can do in the wake of these arrests. See, the first step for us is to bring uh, uh, international awareness because in, uh, based on our experience, any time we keep everything in silence and make, uh, they did everything that they want in the darkness. And this is the first step which has happened. Uh, happen. We are asking from our colleagues, the international filmmakers, the artists, solidarity all around the world. The next step is to try to convert this awareness to the sort of maybe a, a pressure tool or something to ask the governments and different uh, uh, communities who has any sort of political or, or human rights power to put this force in Iran government and ask them to release the filmmaker. So again, an extremely violent attack on the freedom of expression by the Iranian government and uh, hopefully uh, on the international festival circuit there will be more attention given to uh, Iranian films and especially Jafar Pahnahi's new film, No Bears, which is rumoured to be hitting the festival circuit uh, this fall. Okay, well, let's hope then that that exposure continues to shine a light on those problems there as well as the plight of those directors. For now, David Morrigan, thanks for joining me. Thank you.